Hey guys, March 6th, first time out since the big uh, freeze, and uh, we are, I'm in my brother's boat today, my boat's getting worked on, luckily for me though, it's the exact same boat, so, shouldn't be much of a transition, but we're going to try to find uh, some just big fish today, we're going to try to find a uh, pound and a half, two pound fish um, for a tournament next weekend. I'm just going to hit some spots that are uh, been pretty good to me and just kind of check around and see where we go from there. We're going to try some new um, baits from Muddy Water. Uh, Muddy Water came out with six new baits, six new colors. Here's this one right here called Vegas. And this one I think that's already been out, but... I haven't tried it in a while. It's copper and glow. Something about springtime though, that if you get pink and purple, I don't know what the deal is, but that seems like that's the ticket. So we're gonna see if uh, if that'll work and could put some fish in the boat. Stay tuned. All right, this is the same, literally the same jig head I've had for I don't even know how many fish. Orange quarter ounce, muddy water, Wacom style jig head with a new Vegas color or new to me I think it's been out for some time but so anyway see how that works already some pretty good fish up on the screen well, I didn't take long I said only big fish. That's only about ten and a half, but I just had to catch one. Here it comes. <laughs> oh, this would just be stupid. Another small one, but I'm just having fun. <laughs> They're sticking tight to timber, kind of like I thought. The bigger fish are, anyway. I'd say that's about a pound, but very active, which is great. I'd say the color is definitely a hit. First time ever using it. And I mean, there you go. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, that's good. Literally, I haven't shut the camera off once. It's just how non-stop action he is. Nice fish anyway. Not bad for being here. I haven't been here for five minutes. I have four or five fish. I mean, I'm being pretty picky too. I'm only going after the fish that look a pound or better. Not bad show you the shad here I don't know if you can see it there's a little shad tail sticking out of her mouth there they're feeding they're getting fat getting ready for spawn and eating up I hope you guys can see as good as I hope you can on the screen because there is really some great action here you know, and then it's like that. I try to say I'm going to move, and then a fish like that pops up on the screen. It's like, man, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move past them. That's the thing about live scope is you can just pick the fish you want to catch and move on. But if you weren't, if I didn't have live scope, I fish this spot a this hundred times just with spider rigging or single pole without live scope. 
The fish are obviously, you see how tight they are. There is roaming fish, but the majority are bigger fish, and especially on a cold front like that, are going to be next to structure. Um, these are uh, black stumps, trees, and they, they hold heat. The sun just popped out, so it's starting to warm up, so they're probably starting to come off the trees and chasing shad. But a lot of these fish, as you can see, are still on this structure. So like this guy right here, there's, a, there's one suspended out there, nothing crazy, nothing real big at all. I ain't even gonna throw down on him, but he's just in between coming off the tree and going out to feed, which is that one that you just saw, obviously, was feeding on some shad. So, we're going to do a quick little look. We got a little less than three pounds. And... Eleven inch. I'll put the camera up on the way out. End up catching a big one. One thirty six. All right, guys, here's another look. I was on my way out, and I were about 300 yards from where we were. And I grabbed quite a few fish, bigger fish. Here we go. Real big, has some unique scarring on them. Right here. Oh yeah, that's a good, good fish. Oh yeah. Right off the main channel. Really got that one hooked too. Still got old faithful on here colors turned out to be good I'm trying to find some bigger fish so we'll see we'll get up here in the shallower water see what happens here we go here we go black mm-hmm nothing giant in here another black
What else you got? Um, big old black. Are you getting all these Snapchats? I just got one. Oh, so what are we getting here? Very bad signal. Feeling good? I've sent like literally. There's a guy right here. Um, yeah, I mean, I've sent like every minute I sent you another. I just sent you one through a fish. I just got another one. This is a good one right here. Oh, yeah. You're breaking out a lot. Holy crap, dude. I just got a freaking job. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. You find it, the big one. Hold on. I'm gonna get this off now. Alright, that's a little bigger fish right there. Let's weigh this sucker. I'm saying 160 at least. I just caught a 187, Cody. Good God, dude. <laughs> Freaking waypoint that way. I am, dude. I'm telling you. Alright, hold on. Let me, let me finish my video. Are you filming it? Yep, yeah, right now. Alright, I think you got it on film. This is 187. That thing is a toad. Gonna throw him back. Pretty good stringer. Not as big. This one's probably 130. There's two of them, and I caught the smaller of the two. Dang. Are you still filming? Yeah. Another dandy. Here's another good one. A pound and a half. Ton of fish just like that. I don't, I don't know. This has been the best fishing I've had. So with that, found some pretty good fish today. Biggest one was 187, and there's this, there's fish all over the place still. So um, quarter ounce, a new Vegas color. Orange jig head that I've had in literally every video I think I've made so far. Um, worked great. I don't know the numbers. I, I 50 plus. Definitely 50 plus day. And that was just targeting the bigger fish. So if you haven't been on Truman here lately, I highly recommend it. So anyway, hopefully it's somewhat of a video and we can you guys can see how good it really was so we'll see how this plays out with the tournament and i feel pretty good about going into next weekend so thanks for watching